Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Rebirth is, of course, back here in Warzone Season 3. And with that, today I wanted to go through the top five best preliminary loadouts you want to be running on Rebirth slash Resurgence for the start of this season. We obviously saw a pretty significant meta update with the launch of Season 3 as well. So today we got a handful of the top tier options you want to be using post update considering all the new changes all the buffs and nerfs that were applied we're starting first with an absolute beast of a setup we've got the soa subverter as our primary here and we pair this with the striker 9 smg which appears to be invisible because why would the game usually load in things as intended real quick perks and equipment this is going to be the same on all the setups here today as far as my perks go mountaineer double time tempered flex still my go-to across the board consistent reliable kind of helps you out in pretty much all scenarios here throwing knives obviously you want to get those quick instant uh finishes so we can get the pings on our radar smokes provide the instantaneous cover pretty self-explanatory there as far as the soa subverter goes here this thing is relatively low recoil and it hits like a truck so you are going to melt with this thing initially i got the cast break compensator on here helps attack that horizontal bounce also gives you some better firing aim stability we got the dozer 90 long barrel helps out with range velocity control even some firing aim stability as well just really increasing its efficiency across the mid to long range in general as a primary this is a clutch attachment to have we got the 50 round Cinemag, pretty basic all things considered but it's obviously needed for pretty much any squad size i go for the 2.5 times eagle eye optic works great again for the mid to long range and then the heavy stock on here just helps out with some general control across the board it makes the gun a tad bit easier to use so if you're fighting 40 50 60 70 meters this thing will put players down really really easily and really quickly you pair that with the striker nine and it is a great combination this has got you covered for all your close range needs here and sort of indirectly better because of some of the nerfs that took place to other smgs initially zem 35 compensator on here helps out a little bit with the control but doesn't really hurt anything else all that much a little bit of ads speed a little bit of velo but that's not too crazy i do go for the long barrel this is going to be better range and velocity just brings that efficient ttk that effective damage range out further so you're going to kill quicker at a further distance up close don't love the irons here so i just go for a basic nidar 2023 nice little yellow dot if you like the slate more if you like uh, a glassless more use whatever optic you are the most comfortable with i got the 50 round drum on here pretty standard then also no stock on here as well to increase that mobility across the board a ton the recoil here is pretty easy so the cons that are associated with that here aren't really a huge deal especially for the close range this just feels phenomenal next up here we got the combination of the sva 545 still a super reliable rifle we pair this with the hr m9 arguably the best smg in the game now post update sva not really changing all that much i would be using this in semi-auto mode here so i can hyper burst tap with basically no recoil i do go for the spirit fire suppressor this was slightly nerfed you know there's gonna be more of an ads and sprint to fire con here not a huge deal for the mid to long range though we got the precision barrel better range velocity control some added aiming idle sway which makes it even easier and better in semi-auto with the faster recentering there ruin heavy support will help out mainly with the firing aim stability and aiming idle Battle sway again better recentering speed just more consistent there at the semi-auto burst 60 round mag and the 2.5 times eagle eye optic and even though i am personally using this in the hyper burst mode i'd use this exact same setup for full auto as well just because the gun is that easy and that straightforward it's just one of the most reliable options we have in the game at the moment then the hmr9 build that we've got here i love just because it is crazy fast so aggressive and it kills crazy quick up close too so again we got the zem 35 compensator on here i go for the thorn 90 barrel increases that ads speed sprint to fire sprint speed just makes this a lot faster across the board dr6 hand stop also going all in on mobility strafe speed movement speed ads sprint to fire just making it a lot more aggressive even more mobility benefits with the light stock speeds up the movement speed the strafe speed the ads speed yet again for very minimal recoil cons then just the basic 50 round exitamag here nothing too out of the ordinary with that but been using this hrm setup for a bit it feels so so good and by the way as we are going through all the rebirth loadouts and resurgence loadouts here today if you enjoy the video or if you just find it helpful do me a favor drop a like on it it's always really appreciated and if you are new to the channel or you simply have not subscribed yet every single day i got you covered with all things going on in call of duty whether it's news updates patch notes meta breakdowns you're gonna find it right here so feel free to hit that subscribe button and join us on the road to 1 million subs next up here we've got the mtz 556 another indirect buff to this thing in a sense because of some of the other rifle nerfs this thing's now even more competitive and i paired this with a brand new horus smg this thing is super aggressive uh its mobility stats are 
crazy and that makes it a ton of fun to use in my opinion same setup that we talked about in yesterday's video just going all in on the tax sprint speed and the mobility here so m35 compensator yet again no surprises here we've got the ruse 90 light barrel on here once more just speeding things up across the board so more snappy more aggressive dr6 hand stop again same deal there only a 48 round mag extended mag here uh the fire rate's pretty crazy so you do burn through ammo even with the 48 round extended mag on there so just be mindful you will be reloading pretty frequently uh, then lastly, Ripper Light Stock. Even more mobility benefits. Our attack sprint speed is crazy fast. You will get around the map so, so quickly with this thing. Kind of throws players off. I'm loving the feel of this thing so far. Then with the MTZ 556, a pretty standard mid to long range build here. Cast the Spray Compensator yet again for that horizontal control. We got the Drifter Heavy Barrel, better range velocity control, aiming idle sway on top of that as well. Bruin Heavy support. Although with some of the changes that were made to Bruin Heavy, it's not going to do as much for your horizontal control as it was before you could just swap that out for f tack angle if you wanted to it won't do as much for your gun kick but it'll do a little bit more for your horizontal pattern so that's a good alternative as well if you're looking for one 50 run cinemag eagle eye optic 2.5 times yet again like i said pretty basic but hey if it ain't broke don't fix it hey everyone wanted to take a quick second and chat about my friends over at g fuel if you're looking to stay focused energized or just hydrated they've got you covered all around with their normal tubs their hydration tubs and their cans a couple of my personal favorites at the moment gotta be sage mode hydration watermelon mint and also star fruit now, if you're looking to try G Fuel for the first time, they got sample packs. Those are perfect for just finding out which flavors you prefer. And then once you're set there, grab a full on tub and restock on your favorites. And whatever you're looking to pick up, if you throw in code immortal at checkout, you'll get yourself a nice little discount. The link for that will be down in the description below if you're interested. Next up, we've got the Holger 26 LMG. I pair this with the Wasp 9, one of the more reliable SMGs in the game. Has a crazy good damage range for subs. Pretty fast TTK now, especially factoring some of the nerfs to some of the other SMGs. Geez, Ogre 26 wasn't really adjusted here with season three, so it's still frying over the mid to long range. It's a low recoil, easy to use LMG that really feels more like an LMG AR hybrid, if I'm being honest. I do have the Spirit Fire Suppressor here, pretty standard range velocity control benefits. Factory Barrel on here, better range, better velocity, better control, nice little three in one combo there. Extends that range out to a pretty decent amount there. Uh, Bruin Heavy Support yet again, if you want to swap in F Tac Angled, by all means, feel free to do so. We got the Eagle Eye Optic yet again on here as well. Because it's got a 60 round uh, like base mag as is, no real need for an extended mag here. If you wanted to jump up to 100, you could. That's not a bad idea, but I prefer to make the gun even easier to use. I go for the Ascent Lord stock. Helps out with control, also some aiming idle sway and firing aim stability. So just makes it even more predictable and consistent over the mid to long range there. Really, really good LMG setup here without a doubt. Then for the uh, Wasp 9 here, pretty standard to what we've been using in the past couple of seasons. Shadow Strike Suppressor works well on here. It is relatively low recoil. So if you want to stay off the radar, this is a good choice. You also always could go for this M35 Compensator, and that's never really a bad idea. I got the Light Barrel on here, just some basic movement benefits there. DR6 Hand Stop yet again. The 50 round Extended Mag. Fire rate's not too crazy here, so you don't really have to worry about running out of ammo. And then lastly, I just go for really any optic of your choice. MK3 Reflector is pretty good. Glassless is also a great choice as well. So so whatever you're comfortable with there, rock that. This thing will be really, really consistent in the close range. And then lastly here, I did want to include a new sniper loadout for Rebirth and for Resurgence featuring the Moors, which does have that more aggressive one-shot capability. And with the heavy damage barrel on here, the Proton Barrel or whatever you want to call it, it seems like the one shots can extend more. The consistency though is a little bit awkward. I'll talk more on that in just a moment. I pair this with the BP-50, a phenomenal sniper support choice here. Super aggressive rifle, low recoil, and really good in the close to mid range as well. Zem 35 compensator here, DR6 hand stop yet again, 45 round extended mag. I just go for the glassless optic in this case. I like this for the close to mid range. It works really well here. And then the Moat 40 stock, better gun kick control, but better strafe speed and better ADS speed on there too. So control and mobility, not usually two pros you get at the same time it's nice when it happens like this though because it does make the gun a lot more uh efficient everywhere that we're using it in a sniper support style like this but as i was talking with the moors the general setup here we'll run through this real quick i'll hide the face cam in case you're looking for a screenshot i got the quick bulb on here this is standard faster rechambering speed of course you want to get those shots off faster back to back to back the uh 980 rear grip better ads speed just more aggressive across the board the super light stocks kind of a back and forth one it does really good stuff for your mobility fast ads speed it does hurt your recoil gun kick a lot though so when you shoot it does deviate from your uh target 
pretty severely. You could also swap that out for the light stock. It's going to be a slightly slower ADS speed, but still pretty quick across the board. I also like the vertical grip on here as well. It helps out with the ADS speed just a tad bit as well. Now, as you heard me mention with the photonic charge barrel, this makes it so that you have to hold a little bit longer to charge up a shot, but it does do more damage over range. So in theory, you should be able to extend your one shots out. I've had various amounts of success with this so far. I have had more success, it seems like, with aggressive sniping within its first damage range or so. With just the ton heavy barrel, you can see that effective damage range is 76 meters there, and it felt pretty consistent with one shot headshots there. Uh, you know, sometimes it might just be because someone has a little bit less armor. Uh, and you happen to get lucky in that situation but for a sniper build this is a fun alternative to the cat into the stalker as well and that being said those are five of the best rebirth loadouts to be running at the moment if you guys enjoyed the video or if you found it helpful do me a favor drop a like on it and of course if you're new to the channel you want to guarantee that every single day you're up to date with all things going on in cod be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications but once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you later. Peace out.